Alright boys, today we're going to be going over the fastest way to actually end up getting the Platinum Camo in Modern Warfare 2. Now, it is not that hard this year. I think that it's definitely the easiest that it's ever been. Gold Camo is so easy to get. Platinum is so easy to get. And these camos are a lot of fun to grind. I'm having so much fun playing Call of Duty. The gunplay is just amazing. I do like pretty much all the maps except for one uh, which I absolutely hate, which is the car map. I just don't know what we were doing on that border control map. That is that is so bad. It is terrible. But other than that, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been playing Domination a lot, and I've been doing a lot of these challenges in some different game modes that we're going to be going over today. But you guys will know by the end of the video how to get these guns gold ASAP. I already have a couple of them gold. I have two gold right now. And the game has been out for less than a day. I will probably end up having platinum ARs by the end of this week for sure. If not by tomorrow or the next day. As I am going to be absolutely grinding this on stream. Now this video ends up helping you guys out. If you guys should drop me a like and a sub, I'd really appreciate it. I'm so thankful for all the love that you guys have been showing on these past couple videos. Thank you guys as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And we are killing it lately. Now let's get right into how you guys are going to get these platinum camos ASAP. Right now I've been going in order of getting the ARs done, I found the fastest way to actually end up doing it. I have two of the ARs done already, so I've got the SCAR looking gun and then I've got the M4 also ended up being gold. So we've got both of those gold, we're getting there and I am starting to make my way through to getting this platinum camo. And, and honestly the platinum camo looks really really great. So we're at two of eight of the ARs, obviously that's not complete yet. But we're still getting there and I figured out the fastest way to actually end up doing it as I've played it and grinded it and done it for a couple of years. Now this year it is a little bit different than the other Call of Duties as I think that it's just... It doesn't necessarily make sense to grind all inside of multiplayer and so what you're going to actually end up doing instead of going in quick play, you're going to scroll down to multiplayer and you're going to press on invasion. Now you're going to end up playing Invasion and this is going to be the first thing you're going to be doing with a new weapon as this is going to be how you guys are going to end up leveling it up. And if you have double XP tokens, make sure that you guys actually end up pressing the right stick on your controller and activating those double weapon XP tokens before you get into this because you can actually end up knocking a couple of them out and getting them done as fast as possible because you get 100 XP for every single bot that you actually end up killing in this mode so you can end up just getting a bunch of different guns and lining them up and just absolutely hammering this out by getting the weapon levels first and then once we get the weapon levels we're going to actually end up going into multiplayer to get some of those challenges done but they're really easy and we're going to go over that after we go over invasion so you're going to end up taking the gun that you want to take and you can actually end up just finding bots along the way like you can see there's a bunch of bots over here and you're just going to start slaying, just absolutely slaying. You can see 100 XP pops up every single time I get a kill. It's really easy and it's just kind of a meaningless small grind. Like they're not they're not really shooting back. Like that was the first bot that I actually shot back and I kind of wish shots. But if you just don't wish shots, you'll be fine. Even if you don't, you'll be fine. It's not that hard to actually end up just slaying these bots and getting a lot of weapon XP. And you're just going to be getting so many more reps in this. You're going to be getting a lot more... Uh, opportunities to kill people and get XP for your guns so it's it's really simple you just you just got to keep going and kind of grind this it's not really necessarily the world's easiest and most brain dead thing but you got to keep in mind that it's not hard at all and you're just farming these bots killing these bots and you're getting a lot of opportunities to kill people a lot more than you would in like core and so you're gonna even grind some of these uh, like some of these challenges in this so um, if you need to do some of these challenges, you can do that. But I've been doing all the challenges in core. So I'll level up my gun in Invasion. And then after I end up finishing that, I will just absolutely go ham in core. So the one shot, one kill, like you're getting a lot of a lot of easy. You can see I just got a weapon level there. Um, that guy was not very good. A lot of these are just, they're like recruit bots. Just kind of make your way up top and try to stay away from snipers because there's a lot of snipers in this game mode. Like I said, pretty easy to actually end up grinding Invasion. It's not going to take too much time to actually get these guns uh, up to level 20. But once you get them higher and higher, it makes it way easier whenever you're grinding these challenges, especially in multiplayer. So just make sure that you're being smart about it and you're going to be... It's going to end up helping you in the long run, especially if you're going for Orion camo just because Orion camo is... It's a lot of it's a lot of hours. So if you can save yourself some hours by grinding this instead of some multiplayer, 
Um, I'm definitely going to be going that way. You can see that I'm inside their spawn right here, and this is kind of going to be where you want to end up being at. And kind of just farm these bots. Like, look at them. They're, they're kind of brain dead. They're kind of easy. And that's honestly how it should be. So I can just sit on this little rooftop right here and just kind of go to ham. I can mount up and just absolutely slay anything that crosses by me. And just kind of end up getting a lot of weapon levels here. They're not going to really shoot back. And if they do shoot back, it's kind of just something that's not too bad. I think that was actually a real person. Um, but it's, it's really easy. So just... Don't overthink it. Make sure you're grinding. And um, you can see that if you get in a really high traffic spot, it's amazing. Obviously, you're probably going to run out of ammo whenever you're doing this. But there's ammo caches along the map. You can see that there's one right in front of me wherever I died. But you can end up grabbing the ammo caches. But I would recommend, honestly, if you can, put on Scavenger. It'll make it a lot easier for whenever you're grinding this type of thing. So just don't really necessarily overthink it. It's not too hard. And it's something that you can just do pretty simply. So just make sure you're grinding. Make sure you're going through it. And you're getting these weapon levels to level 20. And then once you get them to level 20, you're going to end up going to multiplayer. Where we're going to start talking about the other... Where we're going to start talking about the other challenges. So I played that for maybe a couple minutes. And I got two weapon levels. I know that my AK is a little bit low level. But I played for like five minutes. Got two weapon levels. If you have a double XP token and you grind that, you can get four to five weapon levels per game. You're going to end up having that, maybe even getting it sooner than that, depending on how well you do. And if you get in the middle of the map, it's going to be huge. Now, for the other camo challenges, I'll just tell you kind of what I did. So, for the M4, they're all different. So, they're actually all different. The double kills were really easy. I don't think that's something that I necessarily have to explain. Just be aggressive after you get your first kill. So, you get your first kill, jump out, try to find a second. It wasn't that hard. Get 15 kills from behind the M4 is pretty easy. Now, the, what kind of got hard, it wasn't the three kills without dying. If you need help with that, probably just camp a little bit and kind of hold a lane. And as you hold that lane, it should help you out. Remember, I was grinding attack 56, the scar looking weapon, and I got it gold. The hip fire kills were actually a little bit difficult. So if you're struggling with hip fire kills, what I would recommend is playing domination. So you'll play domination whenever you're grinding this. And it's actually not too bad if you, I mean, you kind of play like a rat. But you're going to sit inside maybe a B flag or a building near B flag. And you're going to kind of just sit in the corner with a laser sight. And somebody walks through and you're going to no scope them. Now what I also ended up doing that kind of worked is you can drop shot people and no scope them. But if they're just behind like if they're far away from you further than like 10 feet away from you. You're not getting that kill. Now you're going to have to camp for this one. And that's just how it is. I know you got to play a little bit like a rat. Um, but it's going to be what you have to do for these hip fire kills. The ADS kills are really simple. A lot of these are super easy. I end up getting gold not too hard. The hardest part about getting all of the camos was definitely the weapon levels. So do the weapon levels and grind them in invasion. It makes it so much quicker. The three kills without dying isn't necessarily hard. If you're having trouble with that, just camp. Kind of watch a lane. Uh, play domination. Play hard points. Um, just kind of hold something. And you'll probably get rewarded because people will come by just mow them down. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty easy. They made it a lot easier this year. It's not bloodthirsty. So three kills without dying ten times, not too hard. And that's going to be the fastest way to actually end up getting Assault Rifles Platinum in Modern Warfare 2. It's not that hard, so don't overthink it. It's definitely the easiest that this has ever been. So if you're struggling with this, if you're someone who maybe doesn't like camo grinding, Trust me, this year it's easy. You can end up doing this and so you shouldn't have any problems. If this video ended up helping you guys out, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like and sub button as we're on the road to 10K. Every sub counts and we're getting closer and closer. You guys have been killing it lately. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll talk to you boys later. Have a great rest of your day and peace.